On February 7th and 8th, you two are flying to Chechnya in Russia for a super fight. And I'm so curious, let's start from the beginning. Why Chechnya? Who is this guy that's setting up the super fights? And why these matches? <laughs> you can ask too many questions because I don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, we have a student, uh, he knows the people that are organizing. He's the, from there. Yeah, he's from there. He's, he knows the people that are organizing the, the tournament. And uh, I think since uh, the beginning of the last year, he has been like asking us, ah, would you guys fight there? Like, uh, they are thinking about creating an event uh, and they want to have you guys as the main event. Like after the tournament, they're going to have a normal tournament and then after the tournament, they're going to have super fights. And uh, Jiu Jitsu is really new there. They want to see like... Because uh, they already do MMA fights. So I think they're trying to promote Jiu Jitsu now. Yeah. But I, I know that like they don't even know like the, the rules really well. So they were asking a lot of questions. I think the, that's why like Samir and Kishino like were invited to I think like to talk about the rules and uh, I think they were going to to be referees there too for the normal tournament. That's what I heard. Like I, I'm not sure, but uh, so they they are trying to make Jiu Jitsu grow there, and uh, they invite us to do the super fight of their tournament. Will be no time limit and submission only. And what are the rules? No heel hooks or heel hooks? No, IBJJF rules. IBJJF yeah. rules. Yeah. Is it gi or no gi? Both. Both. We're on, uh, on the first day, will be the gi tournament. We're going to fight gi. And then uh, the next day is no gi. We fight no gi. Same opponent. So you're going to fight Samira two times? No, I'm not going to fight Samira anymore because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think he... I don't know He's what sick. happened. He's yeah. sick. Something is wrong with him. Okay. So and, and, uh, they just changed. I'm gonna fight a lightweight black belt from uh, from there. Okay, but you're gonna fight him one day in the gi, and then the next day. Yeah, in the one day. Oh, that's in an interesting game. idea. And are you still gonna fight Kishi? Yeah, I'm gonna fight Kishi. Uh, I mean, I think that's interesting because um, I, I, we've never seen somebody fight the same opponent two times. <laughs> yeah, uh, we never saw that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think this is the first time ever. Right. There no, no, should be no dispute if the same person wins <laughs> both times. But I was curious why they picked Samir because you guys just fought in Metamorphs. So. Um, was there any reason they initially picked Samir? Did he want that rematch? No, I think like they want the uh, training partners. That's why, like, so oh, like we are training partners and they are training partners. So I, I think that was the the idea first. And uh, I think they chose Kishinu because Kishinu just uh, beat Miao. So we'll, like that's what they they are trying to see. Like, like uh, I think like. Kishin did really good against Miao's Berimbolo. They want to see what Kishin can do against Hoffa's Berimbolo. Right. And, uh, and then I, I think, because I fought Samir, so I think they, they want to I'm going to use my takedown. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't have said you're a wrestling champion. <laughs> a new game player. <laughs> you know, I admire Kishinu a lot. He's a brilliant strat strategician. Um, you, you know, he analyzes his opponents and he comes out with a perfect strategy and, and oftentimes ekes out the victory. It's not always the most exciting way to win, but maybe that's the only way to win. Do you like fighting guys that are like that, that are very careful, or do you prefer someone that's just going to come in and try to smash you? I think for this rules are not going to, like, it's not going to yeah, change anything. That's what I'm thinking, like, if it's like a no time limit submission only, like, uh, you're going to have to go yeah, there is no points. Like, you you, you, yeah, yeah, you have you have to like Maybe you have to be, pass the guard or take. You the can back. be careful in the beginning and kind of like stir the game, but then at some point you're gonna have to mm -hmm. go crazy. Right. You know. Right. So in general, are you a favor? Are you a fan of these kind of submission only, no time limit matches, or do you prefer shorter matches? I prefer no time limit, but I understand that's kind of hard to do if you have too many fights because, yeah. you know, people are gonna be there waiting for two days to see yeah, the next I, fight. I, I think I, I, I like both. Yeah. I think like for regular tournaments, like IBJJF rules are good. And uh, of course, like events like Metamoris or like this event. They have like, a lot of people fighting, so there's no way to do. I feel like that. No that, time that, limit. You know? that, that, then it's cool to do like a different uh, rule. So I feel like that this is the uh, IBJJF. It's for all the tournaments where like you go there, you win worlds, Pan Ams, uh, Europeans, and then uh, you get recognized to fight these events. Yeah. I think like that's how it works now. 
now that you guys are being invited to do more paid professional events, mm -hmm. does that mean you won't be competing at IBGF events? No, I'm going to be competing for sure. Because just like you said, it, our main goal is to like leave our name, you know, in jiu-jitsu. So even when we stop, when we are not training anymore, or I mean, not competing because we're going to be training, I hope forever. <laughs> um, you know, people will still talk about us, and IBJJF is the, you know, the official tournament that makes you the world champion and famous in the jiu-jitsu community. So that's still my goal: keep competing, IBJJF tournaments. Yeah.